bit different, really bad lighting. Um, this is me. I am about to do a nether vlog um, and I'm dyeing my hair. This is the before. There's some brown roots in there which you can see and the lengths always fade to red. Why is that? Why do I always go red? Weird shaky camera work, also unflattering lighting to the max. Um, and I will be using this colour, which is the colour I have used the last several times I've dyed my hair, Violet Vendetta by L'Oreal Ferrier. Um, and yeah, it always fades out to red and I don't know why. Um, I'm not... This is going to be interesting, it's going to be a very bitty one I'm afraid, this. Otherwise I'm going to get hair dye, Ooh, I'm looking at the wrong bit. Otherwise I'll get hair dye all over my phone, uh, no, this is an iPad, all over my iPad case, I don't want to do that. Also, because you're all extraordinarily lucky people, you get to see an awful lot more of me than you ordinarily would. Um, I am decent, uh, just, but if I don't, but I kind of need to see what I'm doing, so I'm going to be looking at the mirror most of the time. And look, you can see the reflection. That's really cool and yet weird. So. Here I have the box. You get an instruction booklet, very handy. Rubber gloves. Don't you, you always use rubber gloves unless you really want purple hands, or purple in this case, purple hands. I have developer cream, important. Oh, that's the conditioner. Don't need that yet, but that's one side. Side of the bath. And, oh, that's the actual colour. Yes, very important and a little uh, what's it of like high shine gun. Um, so we take the, I've done this many times, um, I do know what I'm more or less doing. Take the lid off that bit and off the colory tubey thing. Go spot and we squeeze all the colour into the tubey. All of it every last little bit every bit there we go and then you snap the top off of this bit and you squeeze that in as well you only get this bit if you use ferrier by the way every other dye I've ever used doesn't have that then we oh no that's the lid get the lid and you shake it like mad. Oh, stomach. That's not flattering, hang on, bear with me. Yeah, due to my uh, lovely, curvaceous, womanly figure, um, knickers always roll down under my stomach. Um, if you're a bigger lady and you would like to share your experiences of really badly fitted knickers, please feel free. Shaky, 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 shaky. Yeah, shake it really, really well. My boobs are chilling. I'm not lying, my entire body jiggles. What do I care? Right, I think we're probably well enough shucked. Take the lid off and it explodes. Not good. But if you don't take the lid off straight away, then sometimes it can like go Pew! like a big bottle of champagne. Rinse off my finger. I don't really want a purple finger. Oh, I'm real. Right. As well as all the normal hair dyeing equipment. Oh, where have I put them? As well as all the usual hair dyeing equipment, I also have a packet of wipes so that I can wipe off anything that gets onto um, both my face, because I don't want it on my skin, and on the floor, because um, there's several like pinky purpley spots on the floor where I've got dye on it on previous occasions. So, I've brushed out my hair. Sexy. Gloves on. Fit. They're kind of dominatrixy actually, these gloves. A little bit kinky. I have actually got some proper black latex gloves somewhere, like proper sexy gloves. However, they've got they're like fingerless, so they're not really very good for this. This one. And here. I might need some time lapse. Here's the other. You see where I stretched it out. Ugh. Right. You see it's starting to go a little bit purpley. Right, okay. 
I am in no way, shape or form an expert at doing this. I've done my own hair several times, but I've never had any training. I don't know if I'm actually any good at it. I just do it to a point where I'm happy and I never had a problem. Um, of course you should be doing all kinds of patch tests and stuff to make sure that you're not actually allergic to this gunge. Um, I'm a bad girl. I never have. See, it's pretty much in my roots now. Oh, Sorry people, I know this isn't the most exciting view ever. Hell, unless you're into this kind of thing. Um, I shaved earlier, you'd be pleased to know. down the lengths. Actually this isn't. I'm going to focus on dyeing my hair now because as much as I enjoy the vlog I need to not come at this looking like a bit special. Here we are, looking seriously sexy. As you can see, I look like some kind of accident victim because I've like managed to slap myself around the cheek with some of my hair um, and all around the hairline and stuff. So this is where those wipes come in. Let's just pop you back on there. Oh God, that's a lot of me on show. The reason, <laughs> I'll explain part of the reason why I've chosen to do this in such a way that shows off a large amount of my body. It's partly because I am, you may have noticed, not skinny in the slightest. I'm around a size 18-ish, um, somewhere around there, on my shoulder there. And um, I'm okay with that. So I choose to get myself out there and show off and be, do you know what, this is what a size 18 looks like? Because I'm happy with me. And yeah, alright, I'm not everybody's ideal and I'm sure I'll get a lot of them fat bitch comments or whatever. But you can screw off, because I don't care, so why should you? I'm just taking off all the little bits of hair dye around the edge of my face. And yeah, what I was saying, sorry. Um, basically, I think that a lot of women seriously underestimate how attractive, in fact I know a lot of women seriously underestimate how attractive they actually are. I may overestimate and that's fine, that's a separate problem. But I've got so many friends who say that they're fat or that they don't feel attractive or whatever. And it's just not true, they're gorgeous nine times out of ten. You know, people, and you're not that one in ten. If you are watching this thinking that, you are not that one in ten that isn't. I'm telling you. But nine times out of ten people, they're so much harder on themselves than they ever would be on anybody else. And I just think it's unfair on everybody because everyone's going well if they're unattractive then I must be and that's ju it's just stupid girls sort it out stop being down on yourself just accept that you might not be exactly what you want to look like but frankly if I can tell you right now that I know I'm attractive and I mean fuck's sake look at me sorry about the language there but seriously you are too you are beautiful honest I'm going to sit on my bed for this next bit, partly because the lighting's a lot more flattering, uh, mostly because I don't actually need to be in the bathroom for this. Um, basically, I am just letting it develop now for, I have my instruction booklet, for 35 minutes. I'm going to just set a timer. The timer has gone spoing! Yay, it actually does, because if you have an iPhone, then you'll know the noise I mean, where it goes, boing, boing. So yeah, it's gone spoing. Um, so I'm now ready to rinse my hair out. You can see it's got a lot darker, the actual dye. Um, so yeah, I'm ready to go and rinse and make it all fabulous. Um, so yeah, try again. Something that occurred to me a few minutes ago. I look a bit like Ursula from The Little Mermaid, what with the, like, the really dark lipstick and everything, and my hair all piled up. Um, but yeah, it reminds me of Ursula from The Little Mermaid. And I did sing um, Poor Unfortunate Souls um, on stage during the Absolute 80s show. Um, year before last? No, last year, yeah, la recently, um, on stage, and it was really, really cool. Um, so yeah, 
I will see you again when I have rinsed all this uh, glorious purpleness out of my hair um, because I can't take my iPad in the shower and now I would be naked and that would be bad. Hello! Just out the shower. Um, no makeup anymore. Nice. Um, and yeah, my hair, hopefully, um, is dyed. It definitely looks a lot darker, like, to me. Um, I'll show you what it looks like when it's dry. So, here you go. Freshly dyed hair. Um, I've literally just finished drying it. Um, I'm not going to do much with it right now because it's like 9 o'clock at night and I'm not crazy mental to like do something with my hair when I'm only about an hour away from going to bed because I keep, keep like really rock and roll hours. Um, the one thing I have thought... I so need a haircut. I mean yes, you know, there's all of these bits but seriously, what am I supposed to be doing with that? So, yeah. Also, I love my hairbrush. It's so pretty. I, I've got to stop doing that big grin thing. It's quite irritating, I suspect. Um, yeah, so purple hair. I've got purple hair to match purple gin. Awesome. It doesn't actually look that purple, really. Um, it normally sort of purples up a bit over the next day or two. But I guarantee you that in um, a couple of weeks' time, it'll be back to red. I guarantee it. Also, no makeup right now. Apart from, like, what's left from earlier, so, you know. But, you know, the shower and everything kind of washed it off. So, yeah. There you go. Hair dye. Toodle bit.